Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Comfort Zone. On April 15th, 2020, I hosted my first Zoom. Um, that experience was eye-opening and very, very strange. I decided on that first day that I wasn't going to go into our pop curriculum, that I would start out with meet, greet, tell our participants what they should expect from this type of uh, interaction. And one of the first things that I did with these guys was start what I call the book of goals. I asked each of my participants to have a notebook and it should be labeled book of goals. And I asked them all, what were their goals? What were their dreams? What did they hope for? And um, actually, what did they want? In the book, I asked them to have two columns. One column is needs. The other column should be wants. And this is just an example of what one person wrote in their book of goals. Needs. I need a job. I need shelter. I need food. And I need clothing. And on the other side was the column of wants. I want a job. I want to own a home. I want to be in control. In other words, I want to be in control of my own food budget. I want to be in control of what to buy, when I want to buy it, at any time. Last was to be able to buy beyond the basics. Okay. So we started the Book of Goals, and I asked that each participant bring the book with them to every Zoom meeting. And we go one by one from each participant and go over what they um, have listed in their book of goals and what have they done to achieve that goal. So another example is a participant who dream job after asking what her dream job was is to be a to be a daycare owner. She wanted to own her own business, and she wanted to be a daycare owner. So in the book of goals, I asked her to write down the very first thing that she thinks that she needs in order to be a business owner. The first thing she wrote was education. We talked about this. In order for her to achieve her goal, especially if she wanted to be an owner of a business, is that she has to go back to school and finish her education. So the first thing would be get your GED. The second thing we talked about was how about short-term goals? How about being a child care provider first? By being a child care provider, it gives us some insight in exactly what it's like to have to care for children. Number three, do research. Your research is going to be on child care provider, where the course is held, what you're going to need, whether you're going to need a license, whether you're going to need certifications, and the cost. We did the, the um, book of goals, but each participant had a book of goals. And the purpose of this, the reason why I started the book of goals, is that sometimes people are not exactly sure what they want to do. Okay, but through talk and conversation, sometimes you can bring out those dreams that people have. Um, this particular person who wanted to be the, the daycare owner, I asked her the following week, what did she do on this list? One step towards her goal. And the one step towards her goal is that 
she applied for GED classes. So I do this with every participant before we start the part curriculum. We go over the book of goals and hopefully each person will complete one goal a week. And hopefully by the end of this shelter in place and everything that we are going through, that most of their goals will be achieved. Thank you.